Hey there, it's Dr. Kevin, author of The Hypothyroid Diet. I wanted to take a couple quick minutes today to give you some advice, and that advice is, is to forget about your TSH levels. Just forget about them, because a lot of doctors can't even figure this thing out. 80% of the hypothyroid cases are being missed because physicians are just looking at TSH. It doesn't tell us that there is thyroid hormone in your tissues within the body, not the serum or the blood, but within the actual cells to make you feel better. So if they can't figure it out, I don't want you to try to figure it out. It's a very poor indicator of thyroid health. T4 is another bad indicator of how much thyroid hormone is in the tissues itself. Reverse T3, on the other hand, is a better number to look at. Just to give you an example, okay, let's look at these numbers. By the way, these are not the reference ranges your physician should be using anyway. The American College of Endocrinology changed these numbers uh, back in 2001, so the top end here is at 3.0. In fact, some physicians say that if you have symptoms of hypothyroidism and your numbers are above 2.0, that's grounds for treatment. You can feel better if you're on uh, thyroid medication. Okay, so these two numbers, not great to look at to be able to determine if you have thyroid hormone within the tissues itself. A little bit better looking at T3, but if a doctor came in and they just looked at, just to point this out to you, if they looked at this number alone, they would diagnose this patient as having hyperthyroidism. The fact is she has hypothyroidism. She has all the symptoms. Her reverse T3 is way high and she would have been mis misdiagnosed if she went in to see a physician that just looked at her TSH. So my advice to you again is to forget about your TSH, focus on yourself, your health, by going out, maybe trying to modify your diet, pick up the book, The Hypothyroid Diet. Uh, that can help you. Look for finding a new physician if you're not getting great help from your physician in terms of medication and testing. Do some research. Anyway, I don't want you to be frustrated. I want you to be well. So until we see you again next time, I want you to eat well and be well.